All right, here we go. These runners are about to start. You guys are ready as well. So let's get this race on the go. Next race in the SMP3 Warpless Points Tournament. Let's do it. All right. Three, two, one, go. Woo. So we'll see who starts first. Oh, wow, they're even. Okay, we're gonna start with Kex Audio because it is a little bit better. All right, both these runners starting head to head. Oh. Both nailing the shell, the shell hit with the mushroom grab. Looking good, looking good. Oh, Keck's gonna lose some time from some buffering. We've been through this before. Maybe Keku should have tested his stream. Just a little bit of a slip up. I think I should be able to refresh him, and it'll it'll be able to even itself back out. Uh, not quite. It also auto muted himself. Let me try and refresh him one more time. Eh, it'll figure itself out. Thankfully, this is not on my end. There's not a whole lot I can do. But Gungeon Lover on the other side, getting the leaf, he's gonna be able to use that in the fortress. Uh, that way he can fly up and he doesn't have to worry about jumping over orbs and, and whatnot. Um, oh, I refreshed here. Let me fix the timers too. It's because I refreshed. Meanwhile, Gungeon Lover- Oh, and Keck taking a death! How? 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 Okay, so we have seen before, early- Early deaths in the run isn't that bad. So lucky for him- Whoa, what's going on here? There we go. It's trying to non-window match me. There we go. We in there. All right, so Keku is gonna have to like, he's gonna have to, to dust this off. He's gotta know it's not too bad. Um, So I was fixing things. I don't think either runner got the tunnel. Um, I don't think so. I was kinda, I kinda had an eye on Gungeon while I was fixing the timers, but I, the, I don't see anything, and I think chat would have would have popped off if uh, if they would have got it. So it looks like looks like neither runner didn't. I know Keku didn't. All right, here we go. So let's get back in action. It looks like Kek's internet is going to clean itself back up, which is good. Gungeon Lumber gonna get the Fire Flower. We're now gonna move on to the Mushroom House. See if he can get that leaf right there. Does he get it? Oh, he gets the point in his pocket. That's going to be really good for him later in the run. Pew, pew. Oh, okay, got an inventory star. All right, Gungeon Lover did get a throne jump. And now, Keck, is he going to be able to get? Ooh, and Keck does not get the leaf in the first Mushroom House. So unfortunately, he's not going to be able to get that. Gungeon Lover does get a throne jump. Keck also gets a throne jump right there. Right on. Both runners have a throne jump. Unfortunately, Keck has died though, but it is like one of the fastest and most early deaths. So it's not a huge deal. Not using a lifeline after that death. Yeah, look at that. Looking good. Look at that. Okay, we made we got through one world without the help of Scarface Nico. Guys, we made it. We made it. I didn't think the tournament could last. 30 seconds, but we made it. <laughs> All right, enough chip chopping. Enough chip chopping. <laughs> enough chip chopping. Like, oh, now, now Yadokami's getting offended. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, so. Just finishing up World 1, Gungeon Lover, and Keck is... I don't even... I'm not sure if Keck's behind by that much. Because of the lag and stuff like that, but I don't think so. I think he is behind by a little bit. Oh, and <laughs> he's split in World 1. Dude, I've totally been there before. So it looks like... This is... Okay, so he restarted his timer. So I guess we're gonna go for World times. Alright, Gungeon Lover gonna come in hot with 2-1.
Very nice, very nice. Can you use the music notes? Doesn't want to get that extra star, so he's going to go for that mushroom turn back. Uh, let's try and use Gungeon's audio a little bit. Okay, so he's got, like, other dimension audio going. That's okay. I kind of like it. Nice, he's going to get the 10 points. Meanwhile, Keck does get through 2-1 very nicely. Boom, so he does get the 10. Very nice. This is the best audio. Okay, Keck is not going to go for the spade card game. That is interesting. We've seen almost every runner go for the spade card game. Is someone going to fall in the mode of tears, though? No mode of tears for Keck. Looking like no mode of tears for Gungeon. Nice. Now, Red Rocket right after the Fortress. Neither runner has fought a Hammer Brother yet. They can't really fight a Hammer Brother this early in World 2. If somebody does, I'd be questioning why the Hammer Brother and how the Hammer Brother got over there so early. They can't even marathon yet, right? They still have to move a couple times before they marathon. So yeah, definitely not able to do that. Nice. Gungeon Lover gonna go for the... Um, this is kind of like a new version that some runners are doing to get early P-Speed. Um, I think it's kind of nice. I think it works. I think it's comfortable. I think it gets you through the level. Right on, Keck. Getting the boom boom kill. Oh no, Gungeon almost taking damage, but not. Had he taken damage there, he would have lost the point, so thank goodness. Is Keck going to go for the red rocket? He's not even gonna go for the red rocket. I, I, I don't know, because he did die, so he did lose that point. So I'm wondering if he he wants to win the race rather than collect points, but winning- Oh, Gungeon is also not gonna go for the Red Rocket strategy. Okay, then that's not so bad because now Gungeon is actually catching up and- Oh, sorry, I meant Kex catching up, but Gungeon just taking damage. Awful, awful spot. Cause like, it looked like he tried to go a little bit slower there so he didn't get, you know, injured, but unfortunately he did, so. Gonna have to deal with that. 33 coins. Luckily, you can't get a coin ship in this world. You can't get a coin ship in worlds 2, 4, 7, 8, and that's it. 2, 4, 7, and 8, you cannot get a coin ship. Mainly 7 and 8 because there's no Hammer Brothers. So that is, uh, that is a good reason why you couldn't get coin ship. Imagine you could turn a piranha plant into some, like, plant ship. All right, Keck gets... Forward moving bro. Not gonna be able to get that RNG point. He does need to collect a couple points here. If he's going to go for the timed win and get those points, he does want to get a couple of little points here and there. Because winning with time alone is not going to be the only thing that's going to help you win. So Gungeon Lover is going to get Forward Moving Bro as well. Ooh, a very empty World 2 for both of these runners. That's okay, not the end of the world. Everyone has the option to pick and choose uh, the points that they want to get. Alright, Keck is going to do 2-4, which is very, very dangerous. Nice, we've seen that mushroom grab a couple times in this tournament. I like it. The one Gungeon Lover just grabbed. Very nice. Alright, taking a little safe there on the stairs. Want to make sure he doesn't uh, take any more damage. Keck has not taken any damage yet, so that's going to be really good for him uh, by the end of World 3. But he still has another full world after this one uh, to keep the Fire Flower. Uh, lots of... Tough movement here in the pyramids, so hopefully... Yeah, see, not getting P-Speed there, kind of. So the... Oh, the beetle's already spawned. He knows that. Okay, he's made that mistake. Oh, no! The side hit. Okay, okay. Oh, no! The side hit again! Okay, left side. Yes, nice. Okay, dope, dope. Ooh, Gungeon getting Sticky Hill. Look at that, dude. Gungeon kind of caught up in the pyramid, but then lost it from Sticky Hill. Sticky Hill is a sub-pixel-based thing where... Uh, if you hit the hill on the right angle with the right amount of speed, you'll just come to a dead stop. You can't clip in that tile set, so what it does is it just stops you like a corner, almost. Um, I know Gungeon is behind by a hammer, brother, but within that level, he was able to catch up inside, but not gonna help him. Keck not getting the throne jump either. Holy jumping. But he still has the same fire flower, so that is good. And Gungeon, is he going to get the throne jump? That's very important. 
Needs to get the throne jump. He does get the throne jump. That's two throne jumps for, for Gungeon. Very nice. But unfortunately, naked points for these runners here. Uh, for the World 1 and 2. So let's see some points for World 3. Ship. That is one of the worst places to take damage. Dang it. Uh, Sticky Hill is RNG. Yeah, you don't know what your subpixels are, so. All right, here we go. What is in those crates? That's all we want to know. We just want to know what's in those crates. Alright, it's gonna go for the stomp kills. <clears throat> Very nice. Don't split! Nice, remember not to split. So I don't know exactly where Kek's time is, but uh, he made the mistake by accidentally splitting. And he's got no split, so stop this timer. I wonder if you have spacebar as split with your live split, and you have P as pause, and if you press space split on a single split and it stops the timer, if you press P, will the timer start back up again? That's a good question. That's a good question. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly how that works. But Kek is going to be the first one to enter World 3, and is he going to get the frame jump at the start of the level? Oh, he gets it! Very nice! This is a point for Gungeon to take a point away from Kek. Gungeon needs to take points away from him because he is in the lead. He is going to win the time rate so far. Very close to coin ship as well on Kek's side. Is Gungeon Lover going to get the frame jump? He does not! That means Kek does get it! Kek is gonna be awarded the frame jump in World 3. Very nice. Not looking like a coin ship. Not gonna go for the fast 3-2 strategy. Don't blame him. It's very difficult and you can go like right through... Right through the plants and stuff. All right, Gungeon Lover now gonna go for 3-2 as well. Not gonna take the fast route again. I don't blame him. You definitely gotta go with what's comfortable for you. You definitely gotta go with what's comfortable for you. Ooh, cheap cheeps. That's probably why they're called that, I swear. I swear, they're so cheap. Ooh, not, not quite close to, to Runaway Bro here for Gungeon. I, I don't really see it happening with the Hammer Brother movements. Um, but any, hey, they you can get a, you can get a movement of four. They can marathon a little bit. Keck is close to, to Runaway. I feel like Keck is not going to go for door four here, right? Because he's like, I don't know, it's weird. Why would you go for door four, but not Red Rocket in a sense, if that makes sense. Oh, he is going to go for it. Oh, and he doesn't get it. Very, very nice chance. And that allows um, Gungeon Lover to catch up a little bit here. Check this out. If he's got P-Speed, he's already passed him. Is he going to go for door four? He is going to go for door four. Doesn't make it and loses that time lead. Wow, he could have actually caught up with that time lead. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't have Fire Flower, though. So Kek is going to be able to do a faster kill here. Kek does get Runaway Bro, though. And just like that, they are tied up in points. Gungeon does have a point in his pocket, though. He does have a point in his pocket. He's gonna use Music Box. Ooh, that's weird. Kek definitely fought the Hammer Brother. He should not have fought the Hammer Brother in this instance, because now um, it's hard to tell what exactly he's gonna do here. see here. Hammer Brother didn't run back. Is he gonna cloud across six? 
do seven and go back? Oh no, he's gonna go for the death! That's a point loss! And now he's gonna cross. So, he's not actually behind Gungeon right now. Because Gungeon doesn't have the hammer for the level where Keck does. Oh, Keck. Oh. This is, this is where practice definitely would've helped. Tried to get that mushroom, but waited a little too long to drop down and grab it. It's not gonna be able to. Okay, so Keck's gotta do some uh, real, real stuff here. Not doing spade card game. He, he doesn't have a mushroom to grab. Ooh, Gungeon missing the age jump, giving uh, Keck a little bit of time. Keck needs to get. I guess he's gonna do Wendy with. Very nice, very nice. So he's gonna have to do Wendy with like a leaf or a fire flower or something. I'm not sure. Uh oh. Ooh, oh, that was so close, dude. That was so close. All right, Gungeon Lover presses A on 1612. Let's let's see when Keck presses A. Let's see what kind of time difference we have because that's not much of a time save if he's already Okay, so he's probably not behind at all. It all depends on how he does these next levels. Did Gungeon Lover get the throne jump? That'd be pretty good if Gungeon got the throne jump. That would be pretty good. We're actually gonna put uh, Kex timer away. I was looking at it and it seems like it could be uh, confusing for Twitch chat, so. Um, so yeah. Yeah, now that we're on the airship, did, did Gungeon Lover get the throne jump? I, I don't know, we were looking at Kek. So far he's gotten both of them. Get the fire kill. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, no throne jump for Gungeon. That's, that's unfortunate. Nice, Keck. He's gonna have to go for the stop quick. Nice, he does get it. Um, his t he he accidentally split after World One Zero Wolf and it ended his timer. So then he restarted it. So he's like three minutes off. Well, maybe a little close to four. I'm not sure. All right, Gungeon Lunder, L Gungeon Lover entering World Four. What was I gonna say, Gungeon Lunner? I'm not sure what a Lunner is, but let's go, let's go. Bottom P speed strategy. Nice. Gonna do the gonna do the shell grab. I like. I like. Whoa, the double shot! Does get the early bottom P-speed though, so that's nice, very nice. All right, Keck. Oh, Keck not getting the bottom P-speed here. Hmm. I think he's choosing his points wisely. Oh, takes the death! And six to three, that's down, that's down, that's down one life there. Was not expecting that. I'm not, I don't think, I don't think he's used to not having P-Speed here. All right, Gungeon Lover, ooh, taking damage, nice. He does the turn back, he had P-Speed though. A little bit of a panic uh, situation there, if you ask me. Being as he already had P-Speed, and sometimes re-getting P-Speed doesn't really work uh, all that well in, in this world, or in this level. 
Oh no, oh no. He's in the water, panic! Nice, he does get it though. Gungeon Lover having a little bit of slip up on the hills. He he did take another hit of damage, so he's gonna take this very slow. He doesn't want to die. He wants to try and save as many points as he has. Nice, up into the pipe, right there. Doesn't get a fanfare, that's really, really good. No fanfare. No marathon. Oh, Gungeon Lover! He's definitely got a marathon right there. We're gonna have to have someone go back and double check his audio. But that definitely looked like a marathon. Alright, Keck, time for you to clean it back up, buddy. Time for you to clean it back up. Up. He gets to skip this level too. Nice, gets his cloud. No marathon, and just like that, he's kind of caught up a little bit here. He's kind of caught up here a little bit with time. I, I'd swim. Oh no! Swim low! No! Oh, you can't see. You can't see him. Oh, he's going up top. This is way too scary. Oh! Oh, oh man! That was way too close. That was way too close. As it looks, it looks like Gungeon didn't get the marathon, but but we'll have someone come back and, and double check. He marked himself down for having the marathon, so we might have it. Um, Keck. Oh, getting the star. He's not going to be able to get that inventory star. Not using that music box. Doing a bump. Gungeon Lover going for all duck jumps. So far, he's doing... So far, he's doing good. Oh, and he didn't duck jump there. Oh, and Keck also didn't duck jump. Look at the ketchup and mustard right here. Insane. Look at how close they are. Keck not knowing if he wants to do the fortress, then hopefully he gets lucky with the Hammer Brother, or go back and do the Hammer Brother right away. So, I guess he decided he was just gonna do the Hammer Brother, get it out of the way, and then go back. Yeah, seems about right. Very nice. Whoa, that almost looked like a little bit of overkill action. So, Keck has the extra P-Wing on Gungeon, but Gungeon has not got an inventory star yet. Alright, so Gungeon has two points in his pocket right now over Keck. In addition with the deaths as well. No, no anything here. Yes, Gungeon, Gungeon does have to leave. Yo, what's going on, Twitch chat? How you guys doing? How you guys doing in this beautiful, beautiful World 4 airship? It's so awesome, isn't it? Yeah, he didn't get the World 3 throne jump, unfortunately. Yeah, he didn't get it. Yo, what's up? What's up, Twitch chat? I did, yes, yes. I, I am very, very familiar with the 454, yes. Perfect timing, auto scroller land.
perfect timing, auto scroller land. Oh no, what is he? That's crazy! Oh no, Keck almost taking damage on the auto scroller by by waiting around like that. Normally you would just stand at the edge of the fire. It'd be it'd be much easier. Yeah, Keck's too clutch for us. Keck, Keck knows something that we don't right now. He's gonna like do the wrong warp, but without warping somehow, he's just gonna know. All right, both runners entering world five. This is where things kind of get interesting with the world five. Yes, we got lots of stuff coming up here in world five and Gungeon is gonna be the first one to enter. Gungeon's audio is not the best. It's got a little bit of an echo, so we're gonna stay on Keck's audio. All right, here we go. Gunshin is going to use P-Wing to grab the music box. He's going to turn back to get a little bit of speed. Very nice. Very nice. It's so easy to fail that. And Keck is not going to go for the music box. Oh, yeah. he. Oh, and he lost it anyways. So he loses Fire Flower in World 5. So he's going to get punished for that. He's going to get punished for that. Is Gungeon Lover going to do... Oh, Gungeon isn't going to go for the uh, Shaft of Shame uh, point. <clears throat> Thank God for that coin. Keck was very, very close to a coin ship there. Very, very close to a coin ship. All right, he gets a movement of four right there. Bump in the overworld map. Watch out for those bumps. Gungeon Lover going for the Tanuki suit. That's a very interesting play right there. I guess maybe for backup? I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? Oh, maybe it's for 741. Maybe it's for 741. We have seen that before. We have seen that before. Oh, Keck is going to go for Spade Card Game now. I'm not sure. He knows some he knows something we don't know. Oh, Gungeon Lover. Did Gungeon Lover just use two music boxes? I think Gungeon Lover just used two music boxes there. That That's going to be interesting on his side. That is going to be very interesting. Ooh, watch out. We've seen, we've seen the Twisty Castle take way too many lives in this tournament. Ooh, missing the pipe right there. That's going to cost him the P-Speed in this section. He's not that far behind from Gungeon, so he can definitely still catch up. Gungeon Lover not being able to get many movements of four. He would have already got two. Um, but don't worry. We got... We always, we always have people on it. We always... Oh! Not going to be able to get the big Koopa jump. Nice try, though. Nice try. That's very scary. That's very scary. Now let's see if uh, Keck's gonna go for it. Keck is not going to go for it. That's not a big deal. It looked like Gungeon also did not get early P speed in 5 5. So this is a, another opportunity for Keck to get some points. He needs to start getting some points. He, he does only have two right now. 
and is behind in time. He's only gotten one movement of four so far. Not gonna get the early P speed, that's fine. Meanwhile, Gungeon is gonna use Star, so we can get Fire Flower here. Uh, and Keck definitely needs Gungeon to lose his Fire Flower. No extra moves for oh, and Gungeon Lover loses his Fire Flower. He's gonna get punished just like that. Beep 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 beep. beep. Oh wow, Keck almost lost it. Look out! That fire's coming, man. Gungeon still not getting many movements of four right here, and Keck got one movement of four, and unfortunately he got stuck. Fortunately he got stuck there. Watch out, don't get- okay, okay. Sometimes if you hit the wall there, you can get a weird spawn with the Potaboo and sometimes take damage or something. Oh, Keck's gonna catch up a little bit here with Fire Flower. Oh yeah, much faster than stomping. Much faster than stomping. Uh, Keck is gated here by that Hammer Brother. Um, and I think Gungeon has to fight that Hammer Brother as well. Oh! Another fallen. He still can't get those movements before. That Hammer Brother is not being nice to him at all. Uh, and Keck had already lost his fire suit, so unfortunately, um, I don't. He can't. He can't minus another one. It, it isn't every fire flower you lose, uh, you lose one point. He had already lost it, so he can't mark him down for anything. No big Koopa, no early P speed, no movements before. He cannot die on this hammer, brother. He's gonna have to take it nice and slow. Stay close. Okay, he's got it. Very scary. Nice. He needed that music box, though. He needs it. And he has the P-Wing, so... Um, Keck, Keck might be hoping that, that Gungeon gets stuck on wall jumps or clips or something, because I don't think Keck is gonna go for 7-6 clip or 6-9 or wall jump. Yo, how's it going, Twitch chat? How you guys doing? How's it going, you frigs? Deck with the throne jump. Yeah, unfortunately, he missed the throne jump already. Yo, what up? What up? What up? Oh, Gungeon lose into his Fire Flower again, unfortunately. Or I guess fortunately, he's already lost. Ooh, getting getting stomped. He does make it. He does make He does make it. Yeah, and like I said before, we're going to continue to use Kex Audio because Gungeon's got uh, this weird echo. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if, if Gungeon has his stream coming through speakers so he can like hear his desktop audio or something and then he's got it the mic picking it up i'm not sure <gasps> oh my gosh that was way too close that was way too close all right gungeon lover let's see which hammer brother he has first and it is going to be a top pattern, high pattern. All right, here we go. He's going to be in the fortress. Let's see if he grabs the question block leap here or if... He oh, he's going for it. Ooh, panic. Okay, he's good. He's good. All right, so Gungeon got high pattern, and Keck is going to have low pattern. Nope, both high. Both getting high. Very nice. Oh, 
Gungeon almost taken, taken a death there. So Keck is definitely probably going to avoid the mushroom here and just take the elevator. Ooh, Gungeon getting a little bit of a marathon here. Oh, so close. We saw somebody previously in a race stand under there for that death waffle and actually taking a death. So it's a good thing uh, Keck either saw that or had already known through previous gameplay not to not to stand under there. All right, Gungeon does not have... Well, I mean, I guess he would use his extra music box if he had to, but we'll see how it goes. Because Keck has already gotten inventory star where Gungeon has not got inventory star yet. Not going to be able to get the despawn... But he is gonna be able to grab the shell. Doing the old tail swipe. Tail, tail swipe a Rooney. Oh, and Kek taking a death there. I've been. I I I died like that, guys, didn't I? Uh, um recently too, like a couple weeks ago or something like that. I definitely died there on a good run, so I know that feel. I know that feel. In a tournament tournament format, I don't think I would have cut it that close. I probably would have just run off. I would probably just run off the ledge there. Man, that's rough to see it. Definitely didn't mean to do that, but there you go. Nice. Clean it back up. Watch out for this. Oh, man, that can launch you down. So Gungeon Lover is going to get low pattern, and just like that, he's going to get his high and low pattern. Oh, and he got the inventory star. Wrong hammer, brother. Wrong hammer, brother. Keck also gets low pattern as well. Very nice. Keck no longer with the zero points anymore. He does get the inventory star, but he does get high and low pattern. Both runners getting high and low pattern. I'm very interested to see if Gungeon Lover uh, remembers to use his leap. I feel like he would, right? I feel like I feel like he's practiced enough. Look at all the... He's got points. Keck not going to be able to get the despawn strategy. It looked like he was trying for it a little bit, but wasn't going to be able to secure it. It is a little difficult. And just like that, Keck finishes his level. Gungeon about to finish his. Well, uh, let's see if Gungeon remembers to use the leap there. Nice, Keck's gonna go for the hammer suit. He does remember to use that leap. He does remember to use the leap. I wonder if he was sitting there like, hmm, I already have a leap equipped. Should I have to do this? I'm not sure. And it turns out, yes, you still have to equip that leap. Nice, Gungeon also getting his... Or sorry, Keck getting his cloud that he's gonna need for later. Use his hammer. Ooh, almost use that star. All right, time to get the heck out of there. Gungeon is gonna go for wall jump. No, he's not. I wonder why he took that damage there if he wasn't gonna go for wall jump. Yeah, Gungeon took damage. Maybe, maybe he didn't mean to take damage in uh, six eight. Maybe he didn't mean to. All right, Gungeon, last chance to secure, secure some points here. He's gonna have to go for the clip. Oh, very nice attempt for Gungeon Lover. That was very close. Ooh, Keck with that rebuild the P speed. Not gonna be able to grab that block there. That block is kind of trolly. Nice, Gungeon getting through with the P speed, doing the P speed strategies. Gonna take it slow on this Bam Bam because he's a little scary here. The blocks kind of make it weird and where you want to jump. Yeah. All right. It's gonna be Keck's turn. Probably not gonna go for the wall jump. No, he's gonna use the key wing. That's a good idea. And he has two music boxes. So Keck could have definitely used the music box on the Star Bro that he fought, and then got the um, then got the cloud. It would have saved them some time there. But maybe his situation didn't allow for it. You never know. You never know, right? Oh, Keck not trying for it, which is okay. 
Uh, no floor clip. He did get leaf high and low. No inventory star. Did end up getting the inventory star by World 6. Very unfortunate. He didn't want to use his music box on it, though. So, Well, actually, I think he was kind of confused on which Hammer Brother was which, actually. Uh, for fighting Bottom Bro, but we'll see. And Keck got high and low, world one, no, wall jump, no, floor clip, no, star, no. The first star bro that Keck got was in world four, so he's not eligible for that one. So now we are moving on to world seven. Now we are moving on to world seven. Nice, Gungeon gonna go for the stomp kill. You do not want to die on an airship. Hey, airships are still pretty tough. Airships are not easy, guys. Bring on the clips. Keck desperately needs Gungeon to not be able to get 7-1. I want to see Keck clean up some World 7, World 8 action here. Gungeon getting first try clip would really make it difficult for... Uh, or Yeah, Gungeon getting a first try would make it hard for Keck. Oh, and he just misses by a little bit. I don't know if he had the right subpixel, but... Uh, we wouldn't have known. The jump was a little too late. And now he's going for the standard stand clip. And it is what it is. Wasted attempt right there. Jumped a little late. Jumped a little late. Nice. Just gets it. And he's in there. Leaving a little bit of room there for Keck to catch up. But, but we don't know. Um, and no runners using lifelines yet. No runners using lifelines yet. Yeah, no lifelines yet. All right, Gungeon. Not doing any overworld bumps just yet. Now he's got the P-Speed. Ooh, he almost fell in. That was pretty close. Oh, taking damage. It's going to be risky right here. This is the worst thing that can happen. Oh, that was so close. And uh, Keck not getting first try 7-1. Hopefully he gets third try, fourth try. Fifth, he'd save time. Sixth, he'd still save a little bit of time back. And he does get it. Sixth try. I think Gungeon was like 11 or something like that, right? 11, maybe 15. I'm, I'm not quite sure. All right, no bumps. No bumps. Yeah, sure you did, Dom. Sure you did. What's going on? All right, Gungeon's going to be the first one for the punishment of 7-3. And Keck is on his way to 7-2, the very difficult one. 7-2 is tough, man. You need a lot of confidence to get through that level with uh, P-Speed. A lot of things line up pretty easily, but it's still one of those very dangerous. All right, not getting punished on Gungeon Lover's side. Keck almost making the same mistake in 7-2 as Gungeon Lover. Um, but he's going to be able to clean it up a little bit. Gungeon not bumping on the overworld map just yet. Have not seen one. Going to use the P-Wing. Yes, and try and get the 183. Very nice. No bumps, no bonks from Keck. Keck, wait, you're- Oh, Gungeon not gonna be able to get the 83 there. Goes back through the door. Unfortunately, it's not a, a portal through time. Not gonna be able to bring back the 83. Oh, and Keck is going to get punished here. Unfortunate, he, he doesn't have any points to spare. This was his last one, sir. Our last one, sir. Oh, Gungeon Lover doesn't have a P-Wing, so he wants to get this one. And Keck's gonna use a P-Wing anyways. Uh, did anyone phone Keck's agent and let him know that this is a points tournament, not a standard warpless race? Okay, let me know. Get back to me. Keck using a P-Wing in the Fortress. He's going to be able to catch up a little bit of time because he's not going to have to do the Piranha Plant 
in world in, in uh, the, the same one that Gungeon Lover just did. So he has another P wing. He's gonna fly. Yeah, he's gonna fly up. Very nice. Very nice. Nice, Gungeon Lover gonna go for 7-7. Seven, 7-7 seven. Seven, seven is a good level. The good level, it's safe, it's it's not it's not too long. Nice, Keck is also gonna go for 7-7. Seven, seven. Very nice. Ooh, yeah, we definitely don't wanna see we don't wanna see uh, an, a fanfare here. Nice, he's gonna get the last star, very nice. Nice, Gungeon Lover's gonna use his, uh, his Tanuki here. We've already seen someone clipping the side of that ledge. So what's gonna happen here? He's gonna use his tail, fly up as well. These runners are very close in time. Very close in time. Oh, Gungeon almost getting mid-clip. Very close there. Gungeon leaving a little bit of space here for Keck. If Keck gets mid-clip... Ah, oh, nice try. I know he didn't go for it, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Not gonna grab Fire Flower, which leads me to believe he's going to Cloud Music Box here. Wow, no box for either runner. Very nice. Very nice. All right, we are now entering auto scroller land. What's going on, guys? How you guys doing? What I miss? What did I miss? Negative bonkifications. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, Keck has not gone for any points. Right? He, like, he, he's consciously decided not to go for any of the points. Even if you got a 51 minute time, the lack of not going for points, the 51 minute time wouldn't help you. So, very interesting. I, I feel like that early death in World 1 kind of caused him to think to, uh, to go for speed and not for points. Yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But everyone has their own play style and everyone plays the way they want to, right? Oh, Keck hasn't been practicing the points. Well, that would make sense, right? Don't go for the points that you haven't practiced because you'll most likely not not get them, right? So that, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Right on. So we are entering World 8. World 8, here we go. Yeah, no bonks is not messing up your overworld map movements. Uh, I think most people aren't really doing it for the cash. Everyone's just having a good time, and that's really expected. The cash is just a bonus. I mean, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just mild incentivizing. I mean, it's free money if you win. Like, why not, right? Lots of people don't don't expect that they could win. Lots of people could win a lot more than they think. They definitely definitely Did you watch The Wizard today that the movie's 
That movie's a, an, a, an adventure all on its own. All right, first they're entering. So Keck could still win the time lead here. Keck could definitely still win the time lead here. Um, 11 minutes. What is this? Yeah, uh, since they entered from, let's see which point, about 11 minutes, I'd say, for each runner to try and get this. So both runners getting sub one hour. I, I definitely want to see that. I definitely want to see both runners. Uh, the hands are going to play a huge role in that, by the way. Uh, Keck doesn't have a timer because he accidentally split after world one. And uh, he didn't have any splits, so the timer actually stopped, um, and it caused them to have to restart the timer. So it would it would be wrong anyway. So I just figured to stop. Uh, I figured just to put it put it behind. Yeah, because like two minutes later, somebody had already asked like why why is it a couple minutes behind? But it's okay. Yeah, the hands are definitely gonna play a massive role in what happens next. Uh, in this race. Um, and w we've seen it before. It's totally t totally possible for Gungeon to fall apart at the end of this run or, or throughout the entire next race. Um, but it seems like Keck is not going for many points. So um, I don't have... Ooh, Rankless for Gungeon. Too bad this isn't Season 2. Um, I don't have a massive amount of confidence uh, for Keck. But as long as each racer has fun, has a good time, comes out... You know, enjoys themselves. Yeah, that's all that matters to me. That's I think that's all that matters altogether. Everyone having a good time. Nice. They're both on the navy. Why don't you swim under the boat? Did you know you could swim under the boat? Why don't you swim under the boat? I think we've had three no hands so far. Why is the water brown? Oh, you know. We all know why the water's brown. Yeah, the water's... Water's nice! Jump in! Why don't you swim under the boat? Why don't you jump for the wand? What's a movement of two? I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, this is Bowser's sewer system for sure. Oh, Keck taking damage. It looked like he was dicking around and took damage. It looked like... Swimming on the boat is actually slower, yes. Well, the, the second boat, not the first one. <laughs> my vaccine side effect. I did get my vaccine yesterday, yes. All right, Gungeon Lover's gonna be the first one to go to the hands. What is he gonna get? One, two, what? Oh, he got pulled. Oh, it's on the switch. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's playing on the switch, so it it doesn't flash. All right, Keck can get the lead here. Oh! <laughs> what is this game? What is this game? So many no hands this tournament. We already have no hands this tournament. More no hands than we did last season already. And we're only like six races in. This is insane. This is insane. Gungeon only getting one hand, so he's gonna be right on Keck's butt here. Uh, let me double check. I don't, I don't, no lifelines here. Where is it? There it is. No, no lifelines yet. All right, Keck's gonna be the first one. Must be nice. Teeks with the double no hands that one night. Okay, that was like a year ago. I gotta, we gotta stop busting Teeks' balls for that. Okay, that happened, that was one time. It happened a year ago. For a while there, I was like, Teeks is the no-hand master. But now he's good. Now, now he's like the rest of us. I can't get a PB because I got a hand. 
<laughs> Dude, I've been there. I've been there. Oh, Kek on. Oh, Kek needs to... Oh, he doesn't get the rebuild. Gungeon does get the build. Takes damage. Takes the lead as well. Oh, Gungeon with the death. Gungeon with the death. Oh, that is unfortunate. He's going to have to go back and try. He's going to have to try again. Kek getting through. This is going to be hard for Gungeon. I feel like this might affect his... Okay, okay, he's got this. Oh, get out of here, bullets. Okay. Nice, goes to the duck. Oh, it takes damage! Nice. Oh, he's got two mushrooms. Come on, Keck. Don't get it. Nice. Gungeon also going to take the sands. Very, very nice. I think these runners have both done a great job. They both managed to stay very close. They've had some luck, some not luck happen to them. Honestly, I don't think it's a too big of a deal. I mean, if Keck wants to come out, not practice the points, and, like, just do a normal run, that's totally fine by me. I mean, there's no... You know, it's it's nice to see these new runners. I've never really watched Keck play Mario 3 that much, so it's great to, it's great to see his play style. It's great to... Uh, see how he plays. I watch Gungeon a little bit, but also I don't know Gungeon, you know, massively well. And it's always good to... Man, I love seeing new runners. And I love people coming out and trying to be confident and, and playing the game and showing the world, the, you know, what they can do. I think it's great. I think it's great. Ooh, and Gungeon taking damage to that hammer suit. Oh, no! Because he doesn't have a hammer suit. He has to keep his fire flower here. Gungeon getting conveyor P speed. Very nice. Free point, baby. Wait, that's not a free point. Conveyor P speed. I think conveyor P speed can be pretty tough. It's got a little bit of RNG. That's right. All right. Gonna have to play this very slow. Oh, throw it. Oh my. What? That was way too risky. Oh no, Keck, stop. No, Keck, don't. Keck, wait. Keck, Keck, wait. Keck, wait. Okay, he's good. He's good. He's good. He knows the strat. I, you know, he knows what he's doing. I don't know. He knows. He's got it. Looks like Keck's gonna be the first one. Keck's gonna be the first one in Bowser's Castle! He does have the hammer suit! Nice, gets the clip, and here comes Gungeon. Gungeon cannot lose Fire Flower here. Gungeon will not make the sub hour if he loses Fire Flower here. Oh my gosh, he almost lost it right there. Nice, and he manages to get the Bowser. Keck gets the Bowser. He's going to take first place. And he doesn't- Oh no, Gungeon! He doesn't have time for this. Oh, and he takes damage! Oh no! This is exactly what Keck would need if Keck would have collected the points. Oh no! All Keck needed was like three points and it would be tied right now. Oh no, 
that was that's crazy guys the points i'm telling you it's all about the points all about the points he's gonna get that he's gonna get that punish down to six down to six Wow. Oh, he didn't die though. That's good. Gungeon Lover didn't die. He'd be down to five right now. Oh no. No, he should be good. He should be good. Yeah, he's good. Okay. That one fireball was aim is coming right for him. It's coming right for us. Oh boy, oh boy, that was way too close. That was that was intense, man. If Keck also didn't have five deaths, yes, that would have played that would have played a very big role. Give our runners a couple minute break there. Give give the crowd a couple minute break. So many no hands in this tournament, guys. It's crazy. It's crazy how many no hands we've gotten so far. Where's that luck in actual runs? I would have PB'd if I didn't get six hands. We've all said it. Wait, have we all said that about our runs or only Haxer? I can't tell. Yeah, Haxer, what it? I think Hax is gonna come down, come down to my place. We're gonna do some co-op runs soon. That's right, guys. If you guys ever want a world record, all, all you Mario 3 runners, if you guys want to try and get world record and co-op, you just gotta come down to my place. Come on down, we'll play Mario 3. We've been waiting for you to come down. It's okay. The only one stopping you from coming, Alex, is you. Okay? We're always open doors for our friends. Always. We got the doors wide open. Well, not for strangers. Party at Mitch's. I would, if all of you guys were around, I'd throw little parties. Why not? <laughs> yeah, the Canadian lockdown is definitely holding you back. can't come without KLM, then we can never surprise you with KLM already being here. That that trick would never work. <laughs> All my turns. Just hold your just hold, hold your hands under the desk, Mai, and then I will ju just pass me the controller and it'll seem like you're still playing. GDQ, but only Mario 3. That'd be awesome. Did you guys do GDQ submissions? I did some of mine. Beep, 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 beep. Beep 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 Did you get killed, Alex, in Among Us?
What I submit? So far, I submitted some SMB3 stuff and then Kronos before the Ashes. sure Alex I guess I would know if I if I saw but it's gonna be you it's gonna be hard for you to travel with the with the new cap for a bit right you're not gonna be able to same with KLM so it won't be for a little bit all right race two are you guys ready in chat is everyone in chat ready for a second race E Rock, welcome back for the 37 months of the Prime Game. Sorry if I missed any uh, subs, guys. I got notifications off during the tournament matches, so I won't know, and I apologize. But I'm sure you understand. The first one was Kex warm up. That's right. That's right. I was too busy. I was too busy chatting with you guys. I wasn't writing down the points here. We got six. Yes, yeah, six. No, that's a five. I know numbers. Don't, don't pretend like I don't know numbers, guys. Now we're on race two. What up, y'all? What happens in case of draw? Overall, overall time takes place. So uh, if they got a tie and Keck won the race in time, if he, if Keck won this race in time and they got a tie in points, because Keck was faster between both of his races, he would win. Because they tied in points, but he was faster. Whether the times are identical. So what? They got they both tied the exact same in race one, got the same points. In both races, it got the same time in race two exactly. They'd probably have to do a third race at that point. I Because I have no idea how you would determine who wins there. How would you ever determine who wins in that situation? Who stomped the most green turtles wins? Whoever can get the furthest in my Kaizo hack. All right. Looks like you guys are ready. I am also ready. All right. Wrong person. They are ready. Nice. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Woo! So we're probably going to use, yep, we're going to use Kex, Kex Audio. Nice. Kex behind it just by a little bit. Not too bad. Keck W. Keck W. Oh, they're gonna enter at the same time. All right. No early game death from Keck. No early game Kex. Kex. Yeah, no early game Kex. Okay. Oh, the quick down input. Very risky from both. Oh, man. See, this is why, this is why I don't do the big jump off the turtle. I just do a small jump off the clouds, and then you don't have to worry about that weird medium jump off the turtle. I, I, I don't know. I did that jump for about four years of Mario 3. The full big jump off that red turtle. Yeah, the full big jump off... Uh-oh. That... Honestly, again, I, I still don't think that that is that bad. I still don't think that this is that bad. Yeah, he's going for the little jump. Oh my gosh, almost almost got hit. I will I will say, though, that 1-1 one, one is the hardest level in races. It's very difficult. It is very difficult. It's an unfortunate time loss, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at Gungeon Lover to see if Gungeon does get the MFP tunnel. He's going to go for it. 
Oh, 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 nice try, man. That was sick. For a second, I was like, is he going to do it without doing a turn back? I don't think that's possible. Nice. Keck wants the mushroom. Yes, he needs it. Yes. Mushroom. Oh, I took damage. Dang it. Yeah, it's, um... When you go out of your comfort zone in Mario 3, like, if you miss a jump that you've never really missed before, or if you take damage in a spot, and then you don't feel comfortable in future spots as Small Mario, that could play a huge role in, like, how you play. Sometimes it would look like you don't know the game very well, but that's not what it is. Right? It looks like... It looks like Keck is, like... Like, like he doesn't know these levels or something, but that's not the case. He's out of his comfort zone, right? When you speed run the game, right? You always got a fire flower here. You always got a tail here because if you didn't, you would reset, right? So this might be pushing him a little outside of his comfort zone. Gungeon gonna be able to get a fire flower from the block here. Weep. Gets the star. Cat gets a movement of one. That's good. That's what he needs. Needs some movements of one. Taking damage there. Not going to be able to get the MFP tunnel. What I hope is... Okay, good. Oh, man. A missed jump there would have been very unfortunate. Gungeon not getting... Not getting the throne jump. So we're not going to have to be... We're not going to have to keep keep track of Gungeons. Yeah, no throne jump there for Gungeon. Go on to World 2 here. Beep, 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 beep. Ooh, that was a big job. Don't overshoot. Nice. Very nice. All right. So hopefully Keck can like wipe it off a little bit. Wipe it off a little bit. Welcome to the Gungeon. Nice. Got the Fire Flower. Oh, Keck is going to go for the Leaf here. Oh, he does not get it. Um, and if I'm pretty sure Keck did get it, this or oh no, throw and jump. Gungeon did get uh, the leaf from the mushroom house. I I R C. All right, Gungeon's gonna enter 2-1. There's only one good thing about a time difference between racers like this is that we have stuff to do and watch. Well, uh, well, one of the run- Whoa! He's gonna, he's gonna go right through the music box. No, before anyone panics, that's not a time save. Uh, that is something we have known about. Uh, that was sick that he did it in a race. That's a very cool looking thing. Makes no sense whatsoever. Gungeon's gonna go down, do the spade card game. I think he has practice and knows his ten dollars. Twenty dollars is not ten bucks though, so he's gonna look at his cheat sheet, which is totally okay. He's gonna get some stars. Try he's trying to deduce, right? There you go, he found the ten. So if the ten's there, then that means the other ten has to be right there. Very nice. Yes. Everyone knows these cards a little bit better than I do, though, because I've never really... I've done practice for, like, spade card strats and stuff like that, spade card routes and all that all that stuff, but uh, not like this. These guys know where the 10 bucks are, and we, we saw we saw the way Stewie did it as well, man. He just, like, tasked it. He didn't even care. He, like, inst he has all the memorized. He just knows them. Nice. Keck is coming in hot here. He's going to be able to do 2-1. If Keck doesn't go for the spade card game... Then he's gonna save a lot of time. A lot of time on Gun Gungeon Lover. Oh, Gungeon Lover falls in the moat of tears. Gonna lose that point. A part of me really wishes that Keck knew the points and went for them because there, there's a lot of places here where Gungeon is slipping up just a little bit, doing two things. Some things might take Gungeon a little too long. Some things might not. And um, that's just such a big opportunity for, uh, for Keck. Ooh, Keck getting... Oh, that is a loss in Fire Flower. It does state in the rules. Any means necessary, he falls in the moat as well. 
the double moat. Struggling to get out of it. He's going to have no momentum. That's right. The platform doesn't allow you to get any speed whatsoever. It's a very, very jank platform. Double moat fall. Give him the clicks. Oh, it doesn't work, but it's over here. Give him the clicks. Unfortunately. Wow. I Both runners in the same run falling in the moat. All right, here we go. Gungeon finishing up the fortress. Keck is on his way to the fortress, and we're going to see. We're going to see here. Red Rocket Strat. Is he going to go for it? He didn't go for it last time. Does get his P-Speed. He's going for it this time. All oh, the big jumps. Nice. And he does get it. Redeemed himself for that moat. The moat. Nobody feels good when they fall in the moat. That's why I made it a point. I wanted people to feel awful when they fell in the moat. You're soaking wet. You're in some desert wasteland or something. You're falling in gross tear water. You gotta pay the price. Gotta pay the price. All right, first boomerang, bro. Moving forward. Unfortunately, not. The RNG points have not been nice uh, to either of these runners. Is Keck gonna go for the red rocket? He is gonna go for the red rocket, but he bonks the shell. Unfortunately, oh, he does get his P-Speed back, though. He does get his P-Speed back, though. That is good. <sighs> Getting past the sun level. So Gungeon's not going to be able to get the backwards or forwards bros here. Not much he can do about that. Um... All right, Keck has not bought his Hammer Brothers yet, so we don't know if he's going to get lucky here. We also don't know, I th like, I think he only wants the Hammer here because I think he's doing traditional Warpless routing uh, with the with the cleanup of some points here and there, like the Mushroom House in World 1 or, you know, Red Rocket he did try it. I don't think he's very comfortable with Red Rocket, but uh, I think he tried for it anyways, might as well, in this situation, being down in Race 1 by 5 points. So, Hammer Brother facing left, so he is going to go up. And it does move backwards for him. Backwards moving bro. He's got two stars though, so 2-4 is probably going to give him a fanfare if he doesn't watch himself. 2-4 is a very scary level, looking clean so far. I'm very focused on this 2-4. Very nice. Oh, takes damage. Oh my goodness! But he makes it. <laughs> that was way, way too close. Oh, the Hammer Brother gets in his way, but doesn't move backwards. It does! And he gets a random... <laughs> he gets a random point there. Wow, just like that. That's amazing. I don't think he was expecting to fight that bro. I, like, I don't think he, he wanted to. And look at, look at how much he's catching up in speed here. Um, he went from being like a minute and a half behind or something to... I mean, he might still be a minute and a half behind. I'm not entirely sure. All right, not gonna have to slip up like he had last time in the pyramid. So that's good. That's really good. No sticky hill. Nice. And Gungeon Lover has unfortunately taken damage. Where did he take damage? I know Gungeon Lover took damage somewhere. He took damage somewhere. And re grab this fire flower. Where did he take damage? Yeah, neither runner getting thrown jump, unfortunately. Maybe Gungeon hasn't taken damage, but I know Keck definitely, obviously, by not having Fire Flower. Uh, oh, that's right. He grabbed the leaf. He grabbed the leaf in 2-2. Uh, two -two. Yeah, that's right. He's going to get the Mushroom, and Gungeon Lover's going to get out of there. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm thinking of uh, Last Race, which is good, which is good. Nice, we got World 3. Last time, Keck was ahead by a bit, coming into World 3. I don't think Keck took damage either. Keck, wait. Keck, wait!
Nice. Gets the one stop. Two stop. Tray stop. Very nice. All right. Is Gungeon going to get the frame jump? Oh, he does not get the frame jump. Here we go. Man, 11 to 3 right now. 11 to 3. This is tough. This is... Yeah, like I said, and, and we know he's probably not going to go for a whole lot of points later. So, um, I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure how to feel confident about this race taking a big swing. And if it did, would Keck walk away from this being like, okay, I need to practice some points. That's the question. Uh, not in the runaway range just yet for Gungeon, not quite. Uh, Keck is moving out of the way of runaway range. Keck definitely needs to get as many RNG points as he possibly can. Gungeon making a quick decision there. At first, he was going to go back for that Fire Flower, but now he's not to. But he has taken damage, so he's not going to be eligible. Ooh, I thought he had 55 coins there. That was so close. Nice. Keck stuck in the water here. This is a very, very standardized spot to be stuck. Yeah, it's a horrible spot. He's got 33 coins. And Gungeon is now very close to runaway, uh, runaway positioning. This is uh, so far an intense World 3. There's a lot that can happen. Little time mess up. Ooh. Wait, he went for door... Th no, he went for door four. It looked like door three there, but he's good. Nice, gets the P-Speed. Unfortunately, he does not get it, though. And I think Keck is not going to go for... <gasps> oh, and Gungeon takes the death there! That is a you hate to see a moment, and, but he gets runaway. No, what a waste. He got runaway. What a waste. Dang it. They even out. They even out. Keck has now entered this level. He has caught back up, kind of. If he got door four, he would catch up right away. He's going for door four. Oh, I, we needed that so bad. We needed it for the spirit. All right, pipe locked. Unfortunately, that's what happens. Pipe. Keck is not comfortable with doing this level a second time around. But now he's got his peace piece back, so he's good. His peace piece. Now let's see, Gungeon taking a death there. Let's see if Gungeon remembers that he only has to fight one Hammer Brother here. Oh, 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 are we gonna get that leaf? Definitely should have grabbed that leaf so he could damage boost here right at the start of this level. Damage boost, get P speed. Now he's not gonna be able to. Uh, Keck is also going to go for both these Hammer Brothers. I think that's what he did last time. Nice, Gungeon going to get the Fire Flower here. Nice, looking good. Nice, should be able to get P-Speed. Either Slide or P-Speed, one or the other. It's okay. Nice, and the Hammer Brother's not in his way. He's going to be able to use this cloud and get right across. Very nice. Nice, so Gungeon has a little bit of a backup, man. He's got a leaf in his inventory, and he has the hammers, so he's going to be skipping. He's going to be skipping the Fortress in World 4, just like Keck. So Keck is actually quite, quite a ways behind right now. Almost a full level. Let's see, 1608. When Gungeon Lover hit that card, 1608. When Gungeon hit that card. Ooh. Nice, gets the boss. Come on, Gungeon, get the H jump. Oh, gets the music. Oh! Imagine he got the wall jump there, that'd be crazy. Doesn't quite get the wall jump, so this is an opportunity for Keck to catch up a little bit. It's 1636 versus 1608. 
So about the same since entering the world, right? Yeah, that's about the same since entering the world. So Keck can save a good chunk of time here if he gets the H jump. Oh, it just misses it. He was on the he was on the right spot. The H jump is tough, man. It is very hard. It took a it took a long time for me to to no brain this level. Like you know, to where to the point where it's you're not really thinking much about it. But I, even I still mess it up. Every runner still messes up the H jump every once in a while. And it's normally the music note that messes you up. When you jump, you, you under jump a little bit, causing you to touch the music note. And when that happens, you just cannot get the speed. It's such an awkward momentum with the music note. Overworld map movement bump, but not a big deal. Not a big deal. So both runners not having an overly good World 3. Um, Gungeon would have walked away with an extra point, but it's sadly he died. He died in uh, the, the, against the Bam Bam. So he, but he did get run away, so kind of even out. He's, he, he broke even in this world. Now we're moving on to World 4. Um, and... Yeah, uh, Keck fell in the mode of tears, but he got the backwards bro, which is nice, but was unable to secure anything in World 3. And now we are going down to World 4. Do-do-do-do-do. Alright, Kat gonna go for the fire kill. Nice, he gets it. Nice, nice. Wendy can be very, very annoying. Uh, if you don't get a good fire kill. Very annoying. Gets the fire kill. Gungeon's gonna be the first one to enter World 4, and he's gonna have a chance to get bottom P-Speed, Marathon, and Duck Jumps. In 4-6. A little pipe rub there, gonna give Keck a little bit of extra time here. Oh, he does get it though, he does get it. A little bit of a mess up. Yeah, I mean, naturally, you never really want to see mess ups, but... Ooh, that was weird. That was, uh, interesting. All right, Keck is gonna go for bottom P-Speed as well. Nice. Nice, and Keck does get bottom P-Speed. He knows the points, guys. He knows the points. Gungeon Lover making great work of 4-2. Keck slowly catching up right behind him. Right behind him. Nice, both runners getting that point. That's what I'm talking about. Great RNG for Keck, since he's going to be using the hammer, he's not really going to have any problems with the hammer brother. Gets the despawn strat, and he's good. Gungeon is now in 4-3. He's going to have to keep his P-Speed on the hill here. Gets the bounce across the question blocks. Keck making it in the pipe, looking very good. Gungeon is going to have to do the side hit. Oh, the bonk! He's going to have to take the slowdown. He's going to have to go really slow here. Yep, yep, take the slowdown. Oh, he was unconfident about that jump. It looked pretty good to me. Very nice. Very nice, he made it. And Keck getting the cloud early. Now it's Keck's turn to do 4-3. Nice, looking good for Gungeon. He's gonna use the hammer, then fight the cloud. So it looks like he also didn't have to stress too much. He, uh, Keck also having an incredibly better 4-3 at the start here. Looking really good. Doesn't take damage. Oh, but he takes damage there. Luckily, it's okay in this world. Luckily, it's okay in this world. He does make it through. He definitely caught up a massive amount there. Ooh, Keck in the coin ship range. Luckily, you can't get a coin ship in this world or else he'd be getting one right now. All right, so he's gonna use his hammer. Oh, he gets a marathon. Oh, and right there, I was not expecting that at all. That was way more than five right there. I wish, I wish that Keck went for points. I wish so badly 
that he went for points. This is... This is insane. Nice. Gonna take the bottom route. Very safe there. And Gungeon getting the P-Wing. That's actually really good. That's gonna help him make better decisions later in the run. Better, safer, and more time efficient, depending, you know, on how good you are. Gungeon gonna go for his duck jumps here. So far, he's done all of them. Big duck jump here. He's keeping his duck jumps going. He should be in the clear here. He should definitely be in the clear. Yes, he is in the clear. Gonna go for his duck jumps. And, and oh, Keck getting a P-Wing. Oh, nice. He's gonna use his music box, hopefully. Is he gonna go for the duck jumps? I don't think so. Okay, he's not gonna go for the duck jumps. Nice, he's gonna go for the star. He doesn't have fire flower. He doesn't know... He doesn't know what he can shoot, and, and if he did shoot them, you know, when would he shoot, right? So the star is a great choice. Star is a fantastic choice there. Beep, 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 Very nice RNG there. And Gungeon also on his way out of here. Neither runner getting inventory stars. Actually, Keck already has inventory stars. So unfortunately, he's not going to be eligible for that point. That RNG. Boxless. Boxless World 4. Unfortunately, both runners are on World 4 Airship. That is unfortunate. Eh, whatever. Gives me time to catch up with Twitch chat. How's it going, guys? Oh, yeah. Kex got the 69. Day is saved from Yadokami. And with your saved day, how will you spend your time? My day is saved, Mitch. My day is saved. Yo, humanity! Thank you very much for the prime. Welcome back for six months. Thank you very much. I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. I got my first uh, COVID vac shot yesterday. So I'm a little, I'm a little like, I, I don't want to say under the weather, but you know, you can feel the difference. There's a little difference. So just been chilling, chilling with this race, having a good time. Hope you guys are having a good time as well. Yeah, believe it or not, this is not the slowest airship either. Wait until tomorrow. Well, yeah, I got my shot yesterday, so it's just been... It's been about 27 hours since I got my shot. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, taking damage. Luckily, it's still World 4. Nice, gonna do P-Wing strats, very nice. Got your first shot about two hours ago. Yeah, the biggest thing is to not like what, what would it be called? Placebo yourself? Right? When you hyper-focus on, like, your breathing and if you have a headache or fever, it's like, just stop. Just just go about it. Just don't think about it. And you'll know if you'll know if you get sick or have a reaction. Yeah, you'll know. All right! So, World 5. Gungeon already started it hot by grabbing the, um... The music box in 5-1. Uh, Keck also displaying that he doesn't want to go for that, uh, which he didn't last time, which is good. That is a slightly more advanced route. It's a very scary uh, route. And Keck not entering World 5 with Fire Flower. So if you don't have Fire Flower, you can't lose it. So it's kind of good.
No movement of four for Keck over here. I don't think Gungeon has got a movement of four either. He's, he ended up moving pretty quickly. Nope, Gungeon got a movement of three there. So Gungeon's Hammer Brothers not close to movement of four. Keck also not going for the 282 fall strat, which honestly I think is okay. Nice. Gungeon getting the P Wing in World 5. That's actually really good after using it in 5 1. Oh, wait, he's going to go over there, get another movement of three. Keck also getting a movement of three. Both runners with these movements of three here. Oh, no, he's gated. He stopped. And Keck is catching up right here. This is it, the here and the now. Gungeon was pixels away from dying there. He, he he was jumping on that boom boom a little, little too fast. A little too fast. Ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -ba -bum 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 -bum. This is exactly what Keck needed, but Keck needs to be getting some points. He's gotta get some points. Yeah, yeah, Keck definitely made up a lot of- I mean, look at him, he's still got P-Speed here. He's big Mario, so he's got confidence. Nice, Gungeon Lover, getting out of the Twisty Castle, that's what we want to see. Oh, man, Keck almost having, almost having uh, 77 there. It was very close. And just like that, they are neck and neck. Keck is one jump behind. Oh, and Gungeon gets the big jump. He's got the balls, man. He's getting the points. Very nice. That is exactly what Gungeon needed, actually. Keck needs some magic here, too. Oh, not getting early P speed. Dang, very nice try. Very nice, need the run again, the early P-Speed. Keck is going to be able to fight this music box. I don't think Gungeon needs to fight. Oh, man. what? That was a weird death, but he got him. That was a weird death, but he got him. That was a movement of two, no movement of four here. We had the silly sound. I love it. The silly sound. Pew. Pew. I love that silly sound. Keck is just uh, he is just running. Oh, that was almost 88, man. That's close. Luckily, his tens digit is fine. As long as he doesn't get, what? Three, right? Oh, almost missing that pipe. Gungeon Lover is going for that music bot. That's very interesting. Maybe he wants to avoid getting the Star Bro, right? He wants to avoid getting the Star Bro in World Six, so he's got the he's got the uh, music box backup. He's got the music box backup, and no movements of four from Gungeon. He's getting movements of one, and Keck is also getting movements of one. Look at how close these runners are. Look at how close these runners are.
Yeah, don't accidentally use that warp whistle. That is a big no-no. So Gungeon and Keck, neither of them actually got their Fire Flower back, did they? Oh, wait. Did Gungeon get his Fire Flower in 5-7 and then lose it? I think he did. Because he was, he was Big Mario in 5-4. Oh no, he grabbed his Leaf. He grabbed his Leaf in 5-5 and Damage Boost in 5-7 and didn't grab his Fire Flower. That's right. Isn't that... That's right, that's what he did, isn't it? Gungeon Lover's gonna try and do some kind of Fire Flower manipulation strat. Looks like it worked in his favor. He's gonna be able to get the Fire Kill. Keep his lead up by a little bit. Very nice on Kek's side. That's a very good stomp. Nice. Going on to World 6. It's going to be very interesting. So, the only Gungeon lo Lover is eligible for the World 6 Inventory Star and the Leaf Star. He does have the Leaf from World 1, so hopefully he does remember. And just a reminder, guys. No, he didn't get any here, no. He didn't get- he didn't end up getting Fire Flower either. Nice, both getting low pattern. Very nice. Top pattern for Gungeon? Oh, okay. Top, top and low. Top and low. I looked at the I looked at the bricks broken, so. Oh, Gungeon go back inside. Keck, very risky here. They are so close to each other. Both races, they've stayed so close. Nice, very nice spot for Keck. We grab the star, and he's gonna be going. All right, so top pattern for Gungeon, low pattern for Keck. Let's see how it works out for them. Do 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 do. Ooh, nice on Gungeon's side. You gotta watch. You really gotta watch out for that spinner. And uh, Keck dying last time, last race in this level. Let's see if he, uh, oh my gosh, almost the same spot. He's running out of time. He does get his P-Speed. No! Oh man, that flipper can throw you down into the pit. I would never jump there. Ever. I would always go above. I'd always go on the top one. Gungeon almost getting despawn strats. He was close. He was one tail swipe away from making it work. He was one tail swipe away from making it work. That was really good. Nice with the stomp there and the re-grab. Oh, and Keck tried to go for it as well. Both runners being one tail swipe away. All right, let's see if Gungeon Lover can get low pattern. Let's see if Keck can get high pattern. Imagine doing the World 6 Mushroom House here and you don't get a hammer suit and you'd be like, what? You'd be like, uh, I don't think so, game. Gungeon does get low pattern, that's what he needed! And he got the cloud. Let's see if he gets bad RNG here, and he does not get bad RNG! Got the two extra music boxes, and Keck gets high pattern! Very nice from both of our runners. Getting the opposite, that's amazing. Oh, we get bad RNG here, it looks like. Yup, he's got an extra music box. He's gonna use it. He's got his hammer. Very nice. So, Gungeon Lover not getting inventory star, bro. 
Uh, but Keck has already got Inventory Star, bro. If I remember correctly, Gungeon Lover got good RNG. No, he used Music Box, and then he got the P-Wing, and then, yeah, so he's good. He remembered to use the Leaf, very nice. And that is a big point swing for Gungeon. So unfortunately, it's the, at this point, I think it's just a little too hard for Keck to catch up, but I still think he's he's done an amazing job and he's gonna, you know, he's gonna keep going. Let's go. Get as many points as you can. Eventually, I will start seeding people in future seasons based on their average points per season. All right, so the more seasons you join, the more likely you are to be, you know, start becoming more an advanced points player rather than it solely being based off of your PB, right? Nice, no wall jump for Gungeon. Would leave a gap there for Keck, but I think he's also gonna use P-Wing as well. Nice, Gungeon gonna go for the clip again. He went last time. No one's done it this season yet. Oh, so close. I need it. Nice, I wanna see Keck go for it as well. No, Keck making, making an effort not to go for it. I respect that. He doesn't think he's going to get it. Doesn't want to risk it. Doesn't want to do this, that, the other. I respect it. I respect it. All right. No wall jump from either. No floor clip from either. No leaf from world one. No, uh, and has already got inventory stars. So not going to be able to secure those. Dude, Keck was catching up a lot, right? No lifeline from either runner yet. Gungeon going for season two points. Hey man, I love seeing season two points. Da 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 all right, so Gungeon Lover is going to be the first one. So 7-1, uh, these runners are close enough to the point where 7-1 makes a very big deal here. And then that 7-1 is all going to be a, play a huge role in whether or not the hands are going to be a big thing. All right, if Gungeon Lover, who already has the lead, gets 7-1 fast and Keck takes a minute, then the hands aren't really going to be much at this point. But if Gungeon Lover can take a minute for 7-1 and Keck gets it fast, then the hands are going to be insane. go if anything it's exciting to watch how runners deal with clips the hands and the uh the world eight strategies so good luck gunjin not first try jump to oh and just as i was saying keck needs to clean up seven one here needs to clean up seven one here Jumped a little early, not second try, not third. Oh, so close too. Those jumps were good. Keck should be running. Yeah, run back a little bit more because you want to make sure you have the right enough, you know, the right amount of speed. You would never want to miss it by not having enough speed. That would always suck. Nice. Keck doing some good jumps, but getting some very... Ah, oh, there it is. He was getting some pretty awful RNG there, so... Nice, and Gungeon makes it past the, the gap there. Oh, oh, gotta take it slow here. 
Nice, he's in the clear. No pipe to pipe, though. No pipe to pipe. No bonks yet! Uh-oh, two fire flowers for Gungeon. Gungeon doesn't have time to really do a turn back or anything in 7-3. Uh, so this could be actually pretty bad for Gungeon. Gotta take it slow here. Oh my gosh! I don't know how he got that. Oh no, Gungeon gonna be able to get the slip up! Oh, he's not gonna be able to make it, unfortunately. Gungeon gonna have to get that point lost there. Let's hope he doesn't get a fanfare here. That would be awful. No fanfare, that's good. No box yet, no fanfares. All right, Keck not wanting to miss a point here. No box yet. Oh, the jump too early. Gonna have to take that death. No box yet from either runners. Nice, Gungeon Lover. Oh, no. Ooh, was uncertain about where he was jumping, right? The, the whole off-screen thing. Makes it difficult. He's gonna try again here. Nice. Full big jump. Medium jump, full big jump. Gungeon not getting the 83, 177. And Keck getting the 292 or lower, so unfortunately, and I mean, he did die a Hey, get out of here. He did die a couple times, so I don't even think he would have been eligible. I mean, that one's based on when you actually finish the level, so... Oh, the accidental hammer suit! Oh, no! Yep, you're gonna have to... Oh, very unfortunate. No bonks yet. Hammer strats. Nice Gungeon with the 7-7. Seven, seven. I love to see that. Nice calm collected. Don't have to worry about 7-8 is stressful, guys. Very stressful. See, no bonks yet still. Uh, no first try clips for either runner, and I don't blame them. They, the, the, the clips are tough. Clips are very difficult. All right, nice. No bonks yet. Nice, taking the damage boost. That's a good strategy for Gungeon Lover. Keck coming in hot with the 7-7. Seven, seven. Gonna do the star strategies, just, uh, just as we saw last time. Using the Leaf, though, in 7-7 is a little bit slower here, so, um... He's gonna have to pay a, a mild price because of that, but not not too big. It's it's really not. See, he's fine. For anyone who doesn't know, every time you jump with the tail, your speed is reduced by two, I think. So, every time you jump with the tail, you go slower. Nice, so Keck is also going to use the same strategy here. Gungeon is going to use Music Box Cloud. No bonks. No bonks for Gungeon. Very nice. Uh, Keck has also not bonked. Uh, we definitely would have heard it. Alright, don't take damage. Alright, Gungeon Lover has started auto scroller land. Keck making it through 7-9. Very nice. He's gonna have to music box cloud here. Oh, and he bonked right at the end. Oh no. Right at the end. Ooh, gonna have to stretch out the legs for that one. Thank you. 
How's chat doing? We are now on the World 7 airship. How is chat doing? It's a tough race, guys. It was a tough race for Keck. Uh, not going for the points. Um, going for some of them. Uh, not a lot of them. Making it a little bit difficult for him to be able to secure. But he did win the first race in time. So I, I feel like something like that, it, it, it hurts to see. Because he's obviously fast enough um, to win in time. Uh, but not getting the points. I'm not going to be able to... He's n I, like, I don't see how... Don't see how he could advance here. No one's used Lifeline yet, so I don't think the points were much of a concern for Keck. So, um, definitely, I guess, from the beginning, it was uh, definitely stacked in Gungeon. I didn't know that Keck wasn't going to go for many points. It was going to go for the timed points, which is technically a strategy. I mean, you can't say no to it. I mean, like, however it goes, especially if you win in time and your opponent dies and, and, and loses a lot of points. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Right on, they got 12 minutes from wand grab to finish. Alright, very nice work. Not losing a fire flower. That's gonna help him in world eight. Sorry guys, I was just taking a drink of water. Let my let my voice rest a little bit here. Being as we're in the auto scrollers. I don't mean for it to be a little too quiet, but take it as it goes. Nice. Keck joins Gungeon Lover in World 8. They're both on the same tank, so the hands could definitely still play a pretty good role. I think, what is Gungeon? What, 45 seconds ahead? Does anyone know exactly? About 45 seconds ahead, I'd say. So hands play a huge role in this as well. Another huge role. Yeah, no lifelines yet, guys. No lifelines yet. <sighs> All right. Gungeon Lover at the end. Meanwhile, Keck is pretty close to halfway marks. So let's see when Gungeon grabs the chest here. It looks like it's going to be 50... 50-22. High 22. So let's just say 50-23. All right, so 50-23. Nice, Gungeon Lover. Ooh, 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 watch out, Keck! Oh, no! Taking damage. I want to see Keck try and go for the uh, Fire Flower in uh, the, the Navy level. That That is one of the hardest power-ups in the game to grab, definitely. And what's weird is that there are no difficult power-ups in the game. So it's like the only difficult power-up. It's very weird. So Gungeon grabbed it at 50-23, right? 50-23, and Keck got it at 51 oh, what, 4 or something? Anyone know the time there? I'm not doing math. I ain't doing no math. I want to see if Keck gets this Fire Flower. Looks like he's going to go for it. I need to see it. Come on, do it. Oh, he let go of his down input. Never let go of your down input there. So what happened was is Keck made it inside, but he stood up too early. So he should have kept holding down there. Very close. Nice, grabs order 50, 5150. 
Definitely up to the hands here. Definitely up to the hands here. Gungeon, if he gets no hands, he wins 100% for sure. Oh, he got pulled him. Dude, the Nintendo Switch debates me all the time. And hand, hand trap too. One hand, that's really good for Gungeon. That is really good for Gungeon. Uh, did anyone see that Boom Boom just moonwalk to the right? That was weird. Can Keck get no hands two times in a row? That would be amazing. Oh man. Nice, making it through Hand Trap 2. Hand Trap 2 has definitely consumed souls before. Ooh, getting grabbed by hand number three. Dang. They both have enough time, as it seems, to get the sub... The sub hour, though, so... You definitely want to keep getting sub... Ooh, that was close. You want to keep getting sub hour. Nice, gonna go for the, gonna go for the... Oh, that was so close on Gungeon's side. Yeah, he's gonna have to take top route there. Uh, for sure. Keck? In the, in the Air Force now. Yeah, the Air Force, that's what it's called. I was trying to remember what it was called here. Nice, yeah, as long as you move fast, the bullet bills can't really get in your way. Nice. Very nice. Okay, don't die, don't die. I wanna I wanna see both runners get under 60, so I still I still have high hopes. Oh, that was so close, Gungeon. Nice, makes it in the pipe. Should be good from here on out. Yeah, take that, Bam Bam. Take that. No lifeline yet. Gungeon using a star. Right, Keck also using a star. Let's see if Gungeon can get conveyor P speed here. Oh, and Keck taking a death while Gungeon. Oh, also taking a death. I knew once he didn't get the conveyor P speed, if he did a big jump there, oof. And that's it. Now the rules stay for conveyor P speed one attempt allowed only as well, right? So if he comes back in and does it here, that doesn't count, right? The double death. Oh, the triple death. He didn't go for it anyways. Is he going to do the turn back flies? No. Okay. He's going to go for it. Nice. Get the fire flower here. Don't take damage. Oh, he takes the top aerial damage there. Nice. Makes it through. Oh, he respawns. Yeah. You have to kill him there. Yeah. Nice try. Oh, gets it. Yes. Very nice. Nice, that was a good backup for Keck. That was a very good backup. Nice, gonna go for the Sands of Haxor. Yep. Oh, not going for the Sands of Haxor. He did last time. I think he might be thinking, you know what? Why not? Let's go for it. To go for the damage boost. Okay, okay, okay. Wants to keep his wants to keep his mushroom. I don't think he has any inventory items, so he needs to keep his mushroom if he wants to get fire flower, right? Oh, the music notes. Oh, 
No, that's, yeah, I don't like that jump. That's a tough jump. Oh, so what's he gonna do? He's gonna go mushroom. Is he gonna do doorway, mushroom, doorway? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, you gotta get a mushroom now, yeah. It happens, man. So normally you just wanna go, oh, you can't go back through the doorway. That's right. Oh, so this is definitely something I don't think he's prepared for. But he's gonna make it work. Nice, yep, grab that. Nice, maybe this will teach him future. Uh, if you come in here with small Mario, you can do like a double, a double power up grab by going through that door. That's something that I've done in the past. That actually works. All right, Kek gonna go for compare P-Speed. Oh, he almost got it. He's so close. Nice Gungeon in the Bowser's Castle. Gotta take it nice and slow. Make sure he doesn't, yep. Make sure he doesn't get hit by the Death Waffle. Make sure he lines up for the clip. Nice, and Keck gets under the spikes. Spikies. Full big jump. No, he's gonna do the big turn back. That's good. There's two ways of doing it. Oh my gosh. Just like that, Gungeon Lover is the winner of race two in terms of time and points. So he is going to actually advance. Very nice to Gungeon Lover. Congratulations, Keck. It's not done yet though. So we are gonna wait for Keck to finish. Very, very nice. Keck getting second place. He should. I don't know if Keck's gonna make the hour mark. If not, he's gonna be minus three. I don't think he cannot. Ouch. Race two points. We are at 10. That's okay. So, so in terms of how things are going, this isn't too bad. If the runner had practiced all the points and anticipated doing you know, the biggest points run possible, then I could understand this being a super bad thing. But I think Keck had consciously decided, you know what, I'm not gonna go for a lot of the points. I'm just gonna try and go for time and uh, have fun and do my best, which I think is what he's done. He's obviously seemed that the mistakes haven't bugged him that much. And I love to see that in runners. I love to see runners having a good time, uh, playing their best and uh, doing what they can in the situations that are given to them. So I love it. I love it. I think, I think it's great. Gonna go for the Bowser's Finish Castle here, not take damage, which is good. And he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna go for the fire kill. Come on, one up clip. Come on. Very nice. Dungeon with 10. Add Keck with minus three. Like I said, not too bad for not going for points. Well, I guess that can't, well, no, it's already been an hour. So that, did, that, that, that wouldn't count towards him. He's still minus three. No, I didn't forget the last death. He already went past the one hour mark. So it, the run ends at the hour mark. He's just finishing. No, neither runner used their lifeline. Oh no, Keck. No. No, no 8-bit peen. We need an 8-bit peen. Oh yeah, we all we all had a good time. I mean, it, it, it is what it is. Nice, just like that, Keck does bring down Bowser, finishes the run, very nice. 
Guys, give some GG's up to both our runners. Let's go, man. Very nice, very nice. Let's do it. Everyone gets the girl at the end. That is right. That is right. <laughs> BTL makes on top of it. Right on, man. That's sick. All right, guys. Well, I guess that's going to wrap up this race. Yeah. Technically 16 to minus two total. Let's get the totals. Yeah, it's not easy doing this, putting yourself up there. Um, yeah, but I'm going to step off, guys. I got to go eat uh, some of my food here and uh, take it easy on my lungs here. I've been, uh, been yelling for a couple hours now. So um, you guys will see current and normal streams coming back very shortly, guys. And we got to annihilate that 100% world record. And I am thinking about doing the eight hours a day, uh, one of these months for summer. Give some good summer memories to 2021 for you guys. Um, but only a selective you guys know about that because you guys are here. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But in that case, I got to step off very fast, guys. So you take it easy. I love you guys all. Thank you for watching. And you guys have yourself a good night. Let's do it.